Hey guys, Todd Tobias here, devoted card collector, PSA employee, and absolute lacrosse fan. Uh, here to open a box of 2019 Parkside Major League Lacrosse trading cards. Really good looking product that uh, I'm personally excited about as, uh, as a big lacrosse fan. And as something that, uh, you know, if you're looking for something a little unique in your card collection, maybe something to stash away uh, for a rainy day that uh, has the, you know, the potential to maybe go up in value, due in part to rarity and uh, star power, you know, this is something that you might want to look at. Um, this is the first lacrosse specific trading card set since uh, <clears throat> Upper Deck did something around 2010 and uh, 2011. And uh, the quality on these is, is really excellent. Um, I've opened several boxes myself for my personal collection. I've been really thrilled with not only the product itself, but uh, the collation. Uh, you get really close to a complete set in each box, and uh, really everything about it has, has uh, I've found really favorable. So let's take a look and see what we've got. All right, base cards so far. Bill O'Brien, Jason Crane, Kyle Jackson, Mike Hernandez, Shane Jackson, Kyle Jackson, Disruptor. This is a neat 10-card uh, insert set. Who do we have here? Ryan Keenan in the black and white borderless. And Parkside did something pretty neat here. They designed these cards specifically to be autographed at games. Uh, specifically didn't put any design on the front and gave a, you know, a, a good image, but a somewhat muted image that uh, you know, a blue Sharpie would look fantastic in a signature atop that card. And then we've got Jesse Schwartzman base card but one of the MLL legends <clears throat> so we flip these over real quick take a quick look that we don't have any of the Im image variation cards those are uh, limited to about 306 375 of each image variation card was produced and unless you've got the fronts of all the cards memorized uh, you would not necessarily know that you've got one so you've got to check the backs Adam Mosica, Nikki Galasso Matt Bertrams, Nick Manis, Kevin Lavalier, Nikki Polanco, Lyle Thompson in the Fabled. <clears throat> it's a five card subset, insert set that's uh, really cool imagery. And Zed Williams in the Disruptors. Flip it over. No image variations. Move on to the next pack. Now, lacrosse cards are not as widely collected as baseball or football or basketball or hockey, but they have been around for quite a while. The first lacrosse card was produced in 1878. Uh, it's part of the Huntley and Palmer set, a uh, multi-sport set that came out of the United Kingdom. over again. No image variations here. <clears throat> and lacrosse cards have been have been printed um, you know steadily if not regularly ever since. Um, you know I've got stuff going back to that first 1878 card but other stuff in the 1800s, lots in the early 1900s. Uh, Rob Pinnell, Colin Heacock, believe, yep, that's one of the image variations right there. 375 of each card produced, so somewhat limited run. Really attractive imagery. I'll put this up here with the hits. Nikki Galasso and Tim Barber. This is part of the Gummy Arts subset. Now, Rob Pinnell, for those that don't know, is one of the absolute best players in the game today. 
Um, and Rob, while he has team issued cards already, this is the first regular issue nationally distributed card that has ever been made of Rob Pinnell. So those that are that are really into lacrosse cards are kind of likening this particular card to the very early days of the 86 Fleer Michael Jordan. Obviously we're a far cry from uh, that kind of card dollar wise yet, but um, you know, <laughs> there was a time when you could buy boxes of 86 Fleer basketball for $10 each. So everybody starts somewhere. And uh, you know, that Rob Pinnell is not a bad card to have a handful of if you're looking at this as a long-term kind of thing. I'll get back to this one in a minute. A couple more of the border, a borderless and another gummy arts. Now one of the greatest things that Parkside did was <clears throat> they included four vouchers for complimentary tickets to any MLL game in the 2019 season within packs of their cards. So you figure a retail box of these cards costs about $60. Uh, you're guaranteed four complimentary tickets to a game those complimentary tickets, I believe, are around $15 a piece. So really, you actually pay for the box itself just in the complimentary tickets that you get. The cards are even something of a bonus. I really like that, though, the way that uh, Parkside is, is doing their best to get kids and fans and collectors out to more MLL games. Oh, there's ticket number two. Flip these over and look for an image variation. Might not get another since we already got one early in the box. They're kind of tough to come by. It's Madeline, Ryan Keenan, Michael Rexrode, Kevin Crowley, Spencer Ford, legend Justin Pennington. Kevin Crowley and the Fabled, and Sean Evans. Mike Understein, Dylan Ward, Matt Hasek, Zach Greer, Boomer, Boston Cannons mascot, Thomas Inker, Mikey Schlosser and the Gummy Arts. Now for those that are not necessarily hip with uh, lacrosse language, Mikey Schlosser has this phenomenal mullet, as you can see here. And uh, the lacrosse guys call that lettuce. So in lacrosse parlance, Mikey Schlosser has a ridiculous head of lettuce. Just something I thought you might want to know. All right, CJ Costabile, Jake Pulver, Casey Dowd, Cody, I can't pronounce that name, Paul Cantabine, BJ O'Hara, Casey Powell, and Ryan Keenan. And Casey Powell is one of the legends in this set. One, you know, like Rob Pinnell, one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time. Just, uh, he came out of Syracuse. He's one of three All-American brothers to play at Syracuse, and, uh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal ball player. Al Durth, Max Adler, Justin Pennington, Chris Fennell, Jojo War Drummer, mascot of the Denver Outlaws. Got a couple of the borderless. And the Tom Mariano. This is uh, an uncorrected error. Actually, this is not Coach Mariano, but one of his assistants with the Florida launch. Uh, they did make a corrected version that was distributed with, with orders, um, individually with orders, <clears throat> but they only produced a hundred of that corrected version of the card, so um, it's going to be much, much more difficult to find than the error.
Oh, Ben Williams in the vintage. Oh, and Ben Williams disruptor. There you go. The record setting Syracuse midfielder, uh, face off man, phenomenal ball player. Wasserman, McNally, Ryan Walsh, hyped Randy Stotts. Look at that. That's a good looking card. Hyped is a five card subset. Again, relatively tough to come up with. Um, I don't know exactly how many were produced. Do they say on here? No, they don't. But uh, all of them have this red toning, red imagery. Really good looking cards. Zach Greer, black and white, DJ Plumer, and Colin Heacock. Alex Summerfield, Scott Corcoran, Kyle Denhoff. Oh, here we go. This is this is from the Viewfinder subset, and it is uh, essentially just cards that. Uh, the guys over at Parkside really liked the images, really cool action images, and decided to make a little subset out of them. 375 of each viewfinder card produced. Nice stuff. Jesse Hubbard, Steven Berger, a couple more of the legends. Frank Brown, Disruptor, and Danny Moss in the Borderless. Randy Stotts, who we just happened to get in the Hyped cards. Isaiah Davis Allen, Jack Curran, David Manning, Sean Coach Sean Quirk, Nick Aponte, Checklist card. And Coach Ken Davis. All right, what else do we have here? Callan Rogers, Graham Bocklet, Luke Goldstock. There's our third ticket. Scott Bieta, Lee Zink. Fabled Steel Stanwick and Nikki Galasso in the Borderless. Now I've put together a website called the Lax Card Archive, and that's uh, www.laxcard.com, and it's an attempt uh, with my buddy Jim Coglin to try and document as many of the lacrosse cards produced throughout history as possible. And so if you're interested in, in taking a look at the full checklist for these Parkside cards or for any other lacrosse sets that we've found so far, you can find it at that, uh, find it on that website. And uh, they'll give you print information on how many of each of the subsets were produced. It'll tell you about um, the individual subsets as well. Uh, it will also show images of every card that we've come across to this point. Uh, so tried to make it really a, a, an all-inclusive type website that you know, gives everybody as much information as possible. And as well, you can take a look at cards dating back to, like I said, 1878. Michael Evans, look like we got one of the signatures. And who did we get? Randy Stotts. It's a big Randy Stotts box. Hawkeye, Eli Gobrecht, Ryan Tucker. Sean Martin, Tom Moore, James Fahey, Danny Sweeney, Evan McNally, 
Mark Cockerton, blue, Michael Watson. Check for image variations. Nope. Down to two more packs. Mark Matthews, John Yozo, Skaperota, Mikey Schlosser with again the legendary head of lettuce. Tim Edwards, Apollo the Florida Launch Mascot, Mascot, Finn Sullivan, Dave Cottle, Noah Rack. And our final pack of the night. Isaiah Davis Allen and the Disruptors, Dylan Malloy, the Black and Whites, Orderless, Duncan Clancy, and P.T. Ricci. Another great box. Came, got three out of five on the Fableds. I don't know exactly how many of the uh, Disruptors we've got out of the ten in the set, but I'd say that we came pretty close. There's four, there's five, there's six, seven, eight, so pretty close on the disruptors. And in terms of the tougher inserts, a Randy Stotts signature, one of the viewfinders, Randy Stotts hyped, Ben Williams vintage, and Colin Heacock image variation. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in picking up some of these cards, like I said, they're they're roughly sixty dollars a box retail. You can find them on the Parkside website. I believe that's ParksideCollectibles.com. And uh, you know, the other thing, like I said, these cards. You know they're they're really really well done and uh, pretty limited distribution. Like I said, about five thousand cases produced in total. Uh, you know this is the kind of thing that could dry up. And with the growth of lacrosse as it is, I believe it's it's been the top growing sport for about the past 10, 12 years in a row. You know it, it's really it's really tough to determine where lacrosse cards are going to be in five or ten years, but they really have the opportunity to take off. Um, I know that I personally have uh, been stockpiling this stuff. I've put together about eight sets myself that I'm just kind of tucking away. Uh, I'm also going after a complete master set with all of the various uh, insert sets. Uh, that's you know something just to enjoy. And uh, I'm loving it. I, you know, I happen to be a lacrosse fan, but I think these are fantastic cards. I think for a first time issue, this is the first set of cards that Parkside has ever produced. They did a fantastic job. And uh, I know that I'm gonna be looking forward to their future offerings as well. So take a look, see, uh, see what you think and pick up a box or two. I think, you'll, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this box rip as much as I did. And uh, we'll catch you at a lacrosse game.